That is not a typo, guys. Yes, we finally have Windows tablets or PCs that have battery lives longer than 20 hours. Longer than most smartphones out there. That is insane. Now, I'm at the Snapdragon Summit here in Hawaii, and I got to check out first hands-on look at both devices from HP and Asus that are powered by the 835 processor and uh, of course run full Windows 10. Yes, full Windows 10, 20 hour plus battery life, plus you've got constant gigabit LTE connectivity. That's thus the always connected PC name comes from, which means wherever you go, you're connected to the web, you're connected to do all the things you want to do, which is absolutely fantastic. But let's take a closer look at both devices. The first device is the HP NVX2. NVX2 is slick looking. This is a slick looking uh, tablet, 6.9 millimeters a thin, Banger all an audio, really nice, slick look. Of course, of course, you've got a micro SD card slot as well with this device. Uh, what I like about this device is, of course, the thinness, also the fact that, um, you know, it's got a, a folio keyboard cover that's really nice to use and gives it, of course, that just extra, you know, premium look to this device. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is running full Windows 10, so which means you can do all your productivity things here. Now, this is not a hardcore gaming device, just put it out there, you guys should know that already, but it means you can go ahead and work with your Word documents, Office documents in total. You can do a little bit more stuff in Photoshop as well with this device. You have 4K video playback capabilities as well. So you've got a plethora of things to do, plus that 20 hour battery life and always on connectivity, which means wherever you go, which means that while I was flying from Hawaii, I mean from New York to Hawaii, 12 hours, I could have used this and I still would have enough juice to last me for at least another eight hours, which is mind blogging. Seriously, that is absolutely fantastic with this device. So I like that aspect about it. Now, the second device is the Asus Nova Go. Now, the Nova Go is a two-in-one device. It's a two-in-one clamshell. You can put in tense mode, uh, you can in laptop mode, you can put in different modes. Uh, it's a really nice device, 10 millimeters thick, which is actually really thin for a device like this itself. Uh, you've got a fingerprint sensor on the touchpad area. You've got your ports and connectivity around. It's a really nice, traditional, you could say-esque laptop look to this device. Now, it's powered by the 835 processor. They're offering about 22 hours of battery life on this. And uh, you also have, of course, two variants with either um, four gigs of RAM or eight gigs of RAM, or you do have 64 gigabytes of storage or up to 256. Now, the pricing for the ASUS Nova Go starts at 599 and the, other, the highest option is 799. Very affordable devices. Now, the ASUS Nova Go supports eSIMs, as well as also regular SIM cards. So this is absolutely fantastic. You can pop in your SIM, use it on the go, and you're good. It's great. I like this. I like seeing the Windows environment change and and you know meet to this kind of requirements. This is really exciting to see. So I can't wait to check it out. I can't wait to use them. I can't wait to see how long the battery life will last. I need to take a long trip and just use it for a while. But if you guys have any questions or any comments about either the HP NVX2, the Asus Nova Go, or just always connected on PCs in general, let me know. I'll try and answer them for you. Don't forget to like and share this video, guys. Thank you very much, and always enjoy your entertainment.